What's good, YouTube land? We got another generation to select, and it's Hubcap. So here's his box. Exact same as Grease Pit. Hubcap. Still boring. Cardboard. Still. Da -na -na -na. And there's Hubcap right there. Pull him out. Get uh, get his weapon out. And get his instructions out. Boom. Let me take one quick look if there's anything interesting in the instructions. Nope, it's just going. Okay, robot. Car. And then attaching things. Uh huh, okay. So, hubcap is, besides bright ass yellow, a repaint with a new head of Cliff Jumper. And that's kind of hubcap all over, really. His whole, his, most of his plastic history is just the yellow Cliff Jumper. Like, he's not quite, he's not, uh, I call him a bumblebee. That's not bumblebee, but bumblebee actually has the unique tooling of being a Volkswagen Beetle. This guy, he's just a red, uh, yellow. He's the yellow version of this mold. That's not bumblebee. Even the his tiny bit of character I read just said he's a really nice guy. Boring. The only other hubcap that's ne that's not this. That's never been a yellow car guy was the uh, reveal of the shield, I believe, was it? Hubcap, who was an old red car and was probably a different character and just happened to have the name Hubcap. And a hubcap is a piece of a car. I think it's a thing on the tire. I don't know cars that well. But... Yep, if you weren't a fan of this mold before, here it is in yellow with a brand new uh, kind of crown shaped helmet and a bright ass orange face i do like the uh kind of piercing red optics though although mine is not exactly painted the best one of them is kind of looking off to the side of it it's kind of not exactly fully painted well it's barely barely but still kind of looking to the side a bit but that color scheme that is bright but he does all the same things cliff jumper does the uh backpack parts forms you can sort of stick it in his hand as oh that's actually the best way to use it as a shield it actually kind of fits not exactly but that's definitely the best way to use it as a shield I was trying to peg it into his forearm, but, like, that doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. And, again, I have to bring it up, but the main issue with this guy is he's not a deluxe. Basically a heavily en uh, more engineered Legends figure, but let's face it, at this point, deluxe is not... A, does not mean a slightly tall one or a normal sized one. Deluxe is a price point. You're paying for engineering because if he was properly put at a legend scale uh, price point with legend scale engineering, he wouldn't be as good. The backpack would be worse. There'd be worse things. Well, so you're paying for the engineering. 
uh, articulation wise his head is on a ball joint so he can look up he can look uh, a little bit down not really side to side quite a bit of side to side and the good old exorcist swivel shoulders on a universal joint go all the beyond a T pose he can almost do a full on Y M C A you can do almost a Y pose it's a bit too broad to do a Y it's more it's up here it's it's a bit out here as opposed to up here um C A uh, he's got two way elbows they can go 90 degrees forward or 90 degrees backwards which looks broken as heck he's got a bicep swivel on that part that looks like tubing looks like a metal freaking uh pipe cleaner kind of thing i'm trying to point to the pipe that's coming out the back of my air conditioner but I don't know. he's got a wrist swivel he's got a waist swivel he's got universal hips that can go all the way out for some uh, Chung Li helicopter kick action, if you want to do that. Uh, you do get a thigh swivel. You do get your 90 degree knee bend, which looks a little broken, but it's not that big a deal. And you've got your ankle. Don't really have any forward and back. Kind of just the plastic bending a bit, but you do have a very deep ankle bend inward tilt so he could stay he could stay flat like whoop <laughs> what am i trying to pull evangelist he's got a tiny bit of an ab joint i don't know well actually he's got more of a backwards bend a spine bend than a uh forwards this is mostly due to uh how he transforms but he can do the full limbo if you actually can do that point of articulation. Um, yep, articulation's uh the exact same as Cliff Jumper, but still very good articulation, especially for this size. And his accessory is just Cliff Jumpers, but in a duller, very dull gray. Cliff Jumper is freaking, he's retail, he's not even uh, selects like exclusive repaint, and he has actual silver paint on his, even silver paint on this thing. Man, kind of makes this one look a bit lame. But, uh, since Hubcap doesn't have any connection to this weapon, I'm going to split it up into its basic parts just to give him a little bit of his own flavor given the do the tool the dual guns come on is that action oh okay that's not that's how that pegs in i don't know why why i was trying to peg that in wrong and then this part, where can we shove this? Uh, I could shove it on his arm. Like, oh, no, come on. Come on. Could kind of shove it on there, on that, like that. Could put it on his back, on his car route. Uh, unfortunately, you kind of have to do something like this. Come on. Come on, you big bugger. You tiny bugger. You do something like that, 
now he's got twin guns and a, a thing coming off his back. Eh, that's all right. I don't mind that layout. Uh, I do kind of want to give him the shield. Or you can put... Actually, I could get, you know, I'll give Cliff Jumper the shield in this configuration. Ha. <laughs> This kids is what they call in the business called padding. So there, Cliff Jumper's got a shield. Hubcap got two kind of badass cannons. Just to make them look proper, I'll stick the uh, ammo clip so they're on the same side, although they look weird doing that. Come on. Fighting me. Hubcap, don't fight me. You deserve your own love. You deserve love. You deserve as much love as Cliff Jumper gets. But there you go. You can have a little bit of a Variety of your weapon loadout. Now, to take everything out of his hands to go to uh, vehicle mode. So, first, you want to just bend the arms back and rotate the hand. Or you can just. Ro or you can just rotate the elbow. Ah! Back! The mushroom peg popped out. And then you're going to untab these bits. You can rotate up, fold the wheel out. Rotate up, fold the wheel out. Oh, I didn't even mention, I appreciate the fact that they put the Autobot symbol on his foot. I still think it deserves to be right there on the chest, but at least it's visible in robot mode. So take this panel, open it up, put that flap in front of his face. You're going to want to fold those down. You could also do somewhat of a Gerwalk mode. If you, uh, what's the best way to do that? Mm, eh. I, don't, I don't acknowledge Gerwalk modes often, so just fold that all the way. Rotate those pieces until they go back, and then just keep folding. Basically, make sure it looks... Something like that. Mm. I just wanted to get the parts to look the same because I'm. A oh, there's also a tiny little. Uh, what are those? The the small pegs for effect parts on his shoulder. I didn't even mention. But then you just want to bring the feet up. Peg them in to there, and they also peg in. They peg in underneath to the thigh, into the thighs, and they also peg into the parts on the uh, right here. Take the backpack, fold in the peg, and put it in his hands, and just kind of uh, wedge it on there until you've got a tiny little car. A tiny little Porsche. A bright ass yellow Porsche. I like the car mode. Ugh. It doesn't hold together as well as Cliff Jumper. Unfortunately, like some of the pegs don't really want to play nice with each other, especially right there. It's kind of creating an unfortunate uh, lot seam. And it seems to want to constantly fight me. So that's unfortunate. It rolls pretty well. It's got painted rims. 
Uh, let's just transform Swift Jumper quickly. Or drop Cliff Jumper. Oh no, Cliff Jumper has painted rims as well. Oh, come on. This should not be taking nearly as long as it is. Oh, geez. Come on. Also, I've no I noticed the pegs that go into uh, their thighs are a bit easier to handle on old hubcap. Maybe that's just because of mold. It's mul been used multiple times now. And we'll talk about that in or uh, at the end of the video. It's been a hot minute since I transformed Cliff Jumper as well, but there you go. So, comparison, other than the color, uh, there are some paint differences. For example, the windscreen, it's uh, translucent blue on Cliffy and uh, sort of translucent black on Hubcap. Obviously, the placement of the Autobot symbol is different. Uh, I think Cliff Jumper does a better job of color matching this uh, the the translucent blue plastic that's painted red to the rest of the body of the car because Cliff Jump uh, Hubcap you can there is a slight difference I don't know how well you can see it but also the grills are slightly different colored painted slightly differently colored with Cliff Jumper getting a bit of silver. And yeah, hubcap getting a bit of dull gray. Same on the back. Underside, the the identi identical, only differently colored. They both roll well. You can use uh, cliff jumpers, for example. Take the gun. How does how do the instructions actually want you to peg it into the Oh. This is weird. Okay, let's just combine basically what it wants you to do is uh how does oh my god I looked at it for Yeah, it wants you to put both of them in the in the back. Actually, it wants you to kind of stick them in like that. Plug the back piece in. Yeah, it, it wants you to. Like, at least one way to plug the gun in is like this. Oh, and rotate that, so. There you go. You can do that. Or you can do the cliff jumper uh, car on skis thing. This uh, can do the same thing. So there's slots right under there for the ammo clips. Peg, peg them in. Uh, apparently, there's a uh, versions of this that got 
a different part. There, uh, on TF Wiki, it said they're ones that got, uh, who's, I forget whose gun it was. I, I was looking at it. Oh, and there was also a, a repaint of G1 hubcap in, like, G2 hubcap, which was chrome red. Yeah, and Transformers 2010, Hunt for the Decepticons hubcap, who turned into a 1930s car. These are the only hubcaps I've ever been. But, uh... Oh, it, he, he apparently came with Siege Brunt's. Ah, uh, yes, Brunt. But he came with Brunt's, apparently. Which is another problem with the Select series. You don't actually get to see if your toy's messed up or not. So this pegs into the bottom. Sort of. Pegs in. Then the guns. Peg on uh, back here. And this guy just loves to, it seems like he loves to come to bits. Or he's constantly trying to come to bits. Uh, there's a problem, actually. This gun does not seem to have the actual slot. Oh, wow. It should plug in right here, but if you look, neither side actually has that. That's a bit awkward. It's a molding issue. Okay, so you actually can't do the, the ski thing. But you can also kind of fold the wheels in and do a bow hover car mode, which I didn't show off in Cliff Jumper. So that is an awkward bit of construction error. Oh no, that's, never mind, that's not a construction error. Because that's accurate. How did, How is this one supposed to go on? Oh no, oh that's it. You're supposed to I think. Oh yeah, it's actually <laughs> wow. Call me stupid. Actually the handle has a little slot that you're actually supposed to Okay, it's supposed to Look like that. I'm an idiot. I can hear the comments, but actually I can't because, well, their comments are typed out, and B, there aren't going to be any. So there, you can do the full G1 episode 1, or whatever episode, car skidding across the, oh, the water thing. You can do that here. With hubcap. So, there you go. Let me just get their associate guns. Although, really, you know, you have options. Let's just say that. So, but, uh, I do recommend this mold. If you can deal with the fact that A, it's much smaller than a Deluxe, B, it's the same price as a Deluxe, and C, you can handle the the backpack, the, uh, the parts forming. So you can get, a, if you want, hubcap. Hubcap's an option. If you don't like the red, your, uh, if you want the same car mode, but in yellow, that's, uh, uh, Hubcap is the option. 
there are more options in the future. There's a another so generation select, but apparently it's Bug Bite. Did I read that right? Yep, Bug Bite is going to be a white version of this mold, but it's going to it's actually it's going to use the Bumblebee head, but this version of the body. And there's also a proper Bumblebee coming out as well with the uh, remold. Like they're remolding it to look more like a uh, actual Volkswagen Beetle. Who's, I, I imagine, going to get a mainline release. But as of this recording, the only announced one is in the uh, Netflix repaint. The, like the, uh, basically, the Netflix ones are similar to Select, where they're the same characters, but in like slightly different paint decos. Predominantly like battle damage and like more battle damage and whatnot. So that's the only way to get Bumblebee as like so far been announced. They're probably going to announce a regular release in Bumblebee and probably this similar shade of yellow. So there's a variety of this mold out there or coming out. And Upcap, unfortunately, he's just kind of another one. I like him. But he's not for everyone. I don't think he does. He doesn't do nearly enough to probably win you over if you dislike the mold. I, I like the head. I like the new head. The kind of hilariously orange face. But. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Have I said enough? I don't, I'm not sure. Also, I'm just going to plug plug a dude on top. Just to show that, hey. Uh, oh, no, that peg, this peg is too small. And it's kind of keyed off. Oh, no, there we go. This dude can ride off, ride in the back. As a shield. It feels very similar to when I used to, on occasion, ride in my grandmother's uh, giant truck in the, in the bed, lying down, because that's technically illegal. Kind of gives me similar vibes to that, just in a car, so he's, it kind of looks even more awkward. Look, Ma, no hands! Oh, shit, he went for... <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how I imagined that would go. Yeah. He's a cool little car. And uh, if you can find him, I recommend him. He doesn't really... He doesn't do anything that Cliff Jumper didn't. Or he does, he does everything that Cliff Jumper did. Just in a very bright shade of yellow. Kind of an annoying shade of yellow, but if you can hint... Talking about yellow. <laughs> so, yeah. Honk honk. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Honk honk. <laughs> Until next time, keep it weird. Bye.